cars are becoming smarter. Automatic systems like self-parking or adaptive cruise control are already on the market and many new technologies are being tested. Car makers have joined with researchers and regulators in a European project to speed up the deployment of intelligent driving. In this car we have equipment to control the vehicle, to communicate with other vehicles, to position and also to log all this information. Here on the roof we have antennas for communication, positioning. And here in the front of the car we have sensors like cameras and a radar and they are used to detect objects uh, near the vehicle. If cars can communicate with each other and with roadside infrastructure, driving will become safer and greener. At this event on a Dutch airfield, developers from many EU countries presented their technologies. What we see right now is that I'm not touching the pedal. The car is in automatic mode. The only thing I do is uh, steer. This system replicates the speed of the car just ahead, so the distance always remains the same. And what happens is the information of the car in front of us about the speed, the acceleration, braking, is communicated to this vehicle. That information is combined with sensor information from this vehicle, so the uh, radar, the camera, and as you see right now, the other vehicle brakes and we exactly do the same thing. So we follow automatically. Smarter roadside infrastructure can improve traffic flows and save fuel. Here, an approaching car talks wirelessly to the traffic lights, making the red light switch to green. The onboard computer confirms there's no need to stop. For heavy trucks, every stop avoided is a litre of fuel saved. Imagine every car can talk to every other car. Every car can talk to every traffic light. Every car can talk to the signs on the road. The signs can talk back to your car. By using the anonymous information of all these cars, the network can be managed a lot better, so the roads will be more effective when these system, systems are deployed widely. Other road users, cyclists and pedestrians, will be able to carry wireless markers that will prevent accidents, even in poor visibility. This bicycle is equipped with a communication unit that you see here, the black box. It has an antenna to transmit its information and a GPS receiver. This information is combined and is transmitted to the vehicle that's approaching this crossing. So here the bicycle approaches the crossing behind the truck, like this. I think this is the future, it's uh, cooperative mobility and, and, and more automation and uh, we will get there. We really think that automation is a, is a plus, it's an assistance. If you look at all the transportation modes, aviation, uh, rail, this is already introduced and this is what is causing the fact that we have such few accidents in those transport modes. We have a lot of accidents on the roads and it's mostly because of the driver. The technology already exists. Now it's up to the industry and regulators to implement it and for society to accept the idea of cars making their own decisions.